Hi, welcome to uh, my website. My name is Keen Murphy. I'm an SEO consultant uh, based in the southeast of Ireland, in Waterford to be exact, and I also move between Cork as well. Uh, my job is to kind of help small businesses and startups with their search engine marketing campaigns. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about SEO and what way I like to approach it. So I always say, right, every website needs to be accessible by a search engine. So the first thing we'll kind of have a look at is your robots.txt. We'll find out if your website is crawlable and nothing has been blocked, like you're not no indexing pages. We just make sure that when we're putting your website and submitting it to search engines, that they're easily able to access your website. Um, that's the first thing that we do. I suppose the second thing I have a look at then is your, uh, your architecture, you know, what way your pages have been set up. And then from there, we'll, we'll go and see what kind of content is on those pages. One of the most important things to a search engine in identifying a, a website that should be up the top of the search results is how good and how quality, uh, how much quality their website content has. Uh, like a lot of industries now, now you have to have uh, YMYL, which is your money, your life. Um, and you have to have uh, expertise, authority and trust if you're going to target that area. But for a lot of businesses that I deal with, that's not a, not a, a problem at the moment. But if you are, there are way around. The next thing we'll look at is, okay, sure, you're going to write content that answers users' queries, whether that's your product or service, but we'll also make sure that we have a look at the keyword research that's done. There's really no point in creating content if it doesn't serve a purpose. I always think that content should be created to help a user. And if it's helping a user, great. Even better if lots of people and lots of users are searching for a topic that gets a lot of search terms or a lot of search, um, uh, search traffic every month. So this is where acute research comes into play. You know, you could type in plumbers in Waterford or Waterford plumbers might have actually more search than plumbers in Waterford. So you just have to identify these little things to make sure that you're ranking okay and you're doing the correct job. The next thing we have a look at is we have a look at what kind of website you're built on. Are you on the WordPress website? Do you have a custom CMS? It's plain HTML. Either is fine as long as your website is fast and again, crawlable and it's nice and has good user experience. So your experience, as I say, comes from speed, but it also comes from navigation. Can people find out what they need to do? Do you have your right call to actions on your page? These things are, are essential in order to satisfy the user that comes to your website. Because if a user comes to your website and then decides to leave, that's a bit of an issue for Google because they're basically identifying that your content isn't good enough to keep someone on. Someone's going back to the search results. They're going to the next person down below and they're not doing a great job uh, of I suppose you'll actually, you could potentially lose rank because you're not satisfying that user. And there's all these signals the search engines have to make sure that we're satisfying user needs. So the next part after keyword research is I suppose our content marketing strategy. You know, are we creating share worthy content um, that's going to be sent around the internet because it's so fantastic. People need to share it, link to it and reference it. Uh, that's the most important thing. Now, content doesn't just mean, uh, I suppose, written content. You also have video content like we're doing now. I never liked doing video, but I feel it's a necessity now because YouTube is probably the second biggest search engine in the world. Not only that, some people like to consume video. Um, I myself am not a big, big fan of doing it, but then again, I look and I say, do you know what? I'm consuming so much YouTube videos for my, I suppose, my upskilling. Um, that I'm not really checking out as much content as I used to, not unless I'm on my phone or I'm on Twitter. So making sure that we satisfy that need, creating video, but we also have graphics and infographics. Putting these kind of shareable assets together means you're going to get more links to your blog or your, well, your business, your website. Now I know that I actually don't do a lot of, I suppose, link building, especially not kind of standard stuff. I like to I don't like to approach people and say, can I have a link back to my website? What I like to do is actually create content that people love. And as I said, you get those organic links naturally. When that happens, you're onto a real winner. And that's what Google and other search engines want you to do. They want you to show up organically. They don't want you to go out and try and build links to try and search or trick their search results. It's not a good way of doing things. 
you know, when all this comes to, together, you're going to have a really good uh, SEO strategy. Now, when this happens, we go to the next phase and we kind of edit your title tags and meta descriptions, your URLs. Uh, we just make sure that we're, we're testing and making sure the click-through rates from search engines are really good. So in other words, if I was doing maybe something for a life insurance company, I wouldn't have, you know, life insurance and the name of the company. I'd have life insurance and learn from our expertise and authority or, I don't know, something along those lines. You basically have to write better content in order to get people to click through to your website. The search engine is a billboard and it has multiple results on that billboard. How does your ad stand out? At the moment, it's just copy. Um, so. But there is something called schema and rich snippets. So what we do is we try and edit your content with uh, this schema. And we try and get some of the higher rankings in search results by these snippets you might see at the top. Examples of snippets could be a knowledge graph where on the right hand side of the page, you'll see that if you Google Donald Trump, Donald Trump will be over the right hand side. He is his own knowledge card. What we try and do is get that for you or your business. Uh, we just have to craft a strategy to get that. And the only way really is if to become an expert uh, in your industry and to show that by building your presence online. Now, this has been a very basic overview of search engine optimization. It, there's a lot more detail that goes into it. You know, there's over 200 ranking factors and Google are constantly changing their algorithms. So you might be number one today and tomorrow you might not be. Um, so we just have to make sure that we're constantly working towards keeping you up to the top of those search results. I hope you liked my small video today. If you if you've liked it, you know, subscribe to my channel, click the uh, subscribe button there and hit the little bell for the notification. And anytime I do any more of these videos, you'll also get updated with them. Uh, I have to I have to really up my video game, as they say, I have to practice what I preach. So you'll be seeing a lot more of me on YouTube. Thanks.